My name is Beth Sanders and I'm the registrar here at the National Museum of the United States Navy in Washington, D.C. And as we're entering February and also African American History Month, we wanted to share a really exciting and interesting artifact that we have on display here at the museum with you. This medal, small gold medal, has an inscription on it which says, presented to Robert Smalls by the colored citizens of New York, October 2, 1862, as a token for his patriotism and love of liberty. So the question then is, who is Robert Smalls? Smalls was born as a slave in 1839 in South Carolina. In his teenage years, he was hired out by his master to be a laborer in Charleston, South Carolina. And due to his interest and skill in the dockyard, he was able to start as a dock worker and be promoted up to a rigger and then a sailmaker and then finally a wheelman. A wheelman is another way of saying pilot for the ship, but as a slave was not allowed to hold the title of pilot, he held the title wheelman. When the Civil War began, Smalls was stationed on the CSS Planter, a Confederate military transport ship, as the wheelman in this position. On the day of May 12, 1862, the ship went out to pick up some ammunition. And that evening, the white officers went ashore, leaving the ship in the hands of the slaves, who were trusted slaves at that time for the officers. Smalls, being the wheelman, was the most senior slave on board, and he and some of the other slaves had organized a plan. And this plan was orchestrated at 3.25 a.m. on May 13, 1862, when he, in the captain's uniform, went to the wheel and took control of the ship. By wearing the correct uniform and knowing how the captain would stand, he was able to pass by five Confederate harbor ports without anybody realizing that the ship had actually been commandeered by the slaves. When he approached the Union forces, he put up a white flag, or in this case, a white bedsheet of surrender. Upon realizing what had happened, the surrendered ship was accepted by the Union forces and Smalls was given the prize money given to anyone who captured a Confederate ship. But he was also given something more important, his freedom. Smalls went on to have a distinguished naval career, being the first African American to hold the title, the rank of captain in the US Navy. And he helped to enlist, estimates say about 5,000 African Americans into the Union forces. He also had a distinguished political career after his military service, being elected five times to non-consecutive terms representing South Carolina in the U.S. House of Representatives. So who is Robert Smalls? Well, this is Robert Smalls. Robert Smalls is not only an African-American hero that we talk about for African-American History Month, but he is a U.S. Naval hero that we talk about every day at the National Museum of the United States Navy. So next time you come by the museum, be sure to take a look at this case the inscription on one side and the image on the other and enjoy this wonderful artifact and this incredible history.